the level of technological literacy among the members of the bench, the bar, and the judicial service as a whole. We all have to be open to new ways of dispensing justice and must update our ICT skills. There must be the political will to implement these changes. Immense financial support will be required to see these changes through. Again, yesterday, during the opening ceremony, Her Lady the Chief, Chief Justice rightly said that the justice system should be regarded as an equal partner in the development of democracy and be given the needed financial support to implement its plans and programs. The situation where crumbs are given to the justice system after the cake has been shared among the other arms of government must cease. I totally agree with these sentiments. Four, the rules of court committee will require a thorough examination of our rules to ensure that there are no legal impediments to the introduction of a new system driven or supported by ICT. And with this, I have the famous case on the, of the fast track courts in, in, in mind. So we need to examine our rules to make sure that the new system driven by ICT is supported. All stakeholders in the chain of justice, justice delivery must be part of this change and must be committed to it. And by stakeholders, I refer to judges, registrars, clerks, bailiffs, the bar, the Ghana police, attorney general's office, prison service, all of them. If there's even one weak link in that chain, the entire chain could unravel. Mm -hmm.